Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jordan, and today we're going to be reacting to uh, a tier list video. And you may be wondering, what tier list video am I going to be reacting to? Well, uh, there's a brand new YouTuber that made a new video. His name is The Plepper. I'm pretty sure you've you've heard his voice a couple times on this channel. And uh, he posted a Toontown tier list video, ranking all the gags. And now, uh, I may not have any Toontown content on my channel, and you might be wondering, well, what, what's the deal with her name being JD Doggy? You even have a Toontown dog as your avatar, yet you have no Toontown coverage up until this point. And, I, and that's what I, I'm talking about, like this point. And this is gonna be my first time having some Toontown content, and it's gonna be a reaction video that's not even my own. So anyway, uh, enough stalling. Let's just get right into this video. Uh, by the one and only the plepper. He's gonna be ranking all the gags and let's see how good he is on his tier list Because I mean I know a thing or two about Toontown, so I'm gonna be very harsh very critical. I'm not gonna be holding any punches Let's see how accurate this guy is with his uh, gag tier list. So let us go Hey guys the plepper here and welcome to my Toontown gag track tier list so, I'm going to be ranking every single gag track inside of Toontown, all seven of them. And, uh, if you don't know Toontown, then why are you even here? But, you know. Um, let's get This man's spitting facts. Not really much to say about the game, it's just, you fight cogs. So, start off with yeah. one of the basic two ones you start with. And honestly, even though it's one of the very first two ones you get, it's actually really good. Because, the later ones start getting up really, really big damage. And it's all medium accuracy, so you hit it about, you hit average, you barely miss it, unless you're unlucky, like me. But, honestly, I'm putting in good, because all around, it's just a great nice. game. Nice! Not much to really say about it, it's just the basic gag. But, like, yeah, it's just, it's useful throughout the entirety of the game. You always want to use throw. And the birthday cake does 100 damage, and you get three of them. Like, it's honestly really good. So... Also, if you lure the, the cogs, it one-shots level 10 cogs, the birthday cake. And once it's level 11, you need a or, you need the organic one. But, like, level 10 cogs is a high level to be able to one-shot. Even even though it's in lore, it's still really good. Yeah, so, uh, this man is spinning facts. I mean, throw is a really good gag. Uh, really good gag, good gag, gag tier. Uh, especially when you incorporate it with lore. Uh... Which I mean, I hope I'm pretty sure he's gonna be ranking Lord pretty high because uh, without Lord, all these gags will not be reaching their maximum potential. Uh, yeah, throw is really good. It's th them giving you that uh, thing right off the back, bad at the game is really good. It does high damage. It's uh, very little like like ch chance. I know he says uh, like it's all about luck. If you have low accuracy, then it's not the greatest thing in the world. But yeah, I mean for the most part, it's overall just a pretty good. Uh, here so so far so on to the next one we got squirt so squirt is in my opinion it seems like it's just throw but less damage and higher accuracy so it's pretty mad i'll just put it one tier below just because ah. i barely missed throw and it's like squirt is kind of just the same yeah the same thing but less damage so it's just like i don't know you can't really put too much lower than throw so i'll just put it one yeah, I mean, it's it's either it's either average or meh. I mean, like, cause realistically, throw is just a worse version, or squirt is just a worse version of throw. And all it does, it's like sure it has like higher accuracy, but the damage output does not even compare to throw gags. Um, so yeah, but again, if you pair it with like lore, or uh, you, we'll pair it with like lore and stuff, then. It can do decent damage, even though that doesn't really need lore because it never really misses. But yeah, I mean, average sounds about good. It's, it's, it's a really safe one. If you just want to like guarantee, if a cog is at like a red health, it's like a good like guaranteed kill. You know, it's not like anything like, uh, oh, should I, if I don't want to risk anything when this find a cog at level like 15 or so, it's, it's safe to do a squirt. So I understand it's, it, it is, it's pretty average. No. On to the next one, sound. So, Ooh. obviously, if you play the game, you know it isn't gonna go. The worst <laughs> tier. He's joking. I'm He's joking. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say. One of the best. 
I was be like, bro, really? Because no way. You know, when you go inside of a dungeon, everyone just spams sound because it's just the best gag. It kind of sucks actually how good it is because it actually stops you from being able to level up all your other gags because everyone just wants to spam this annoying gag. Oh yeah. If this one thing the Toucan community loves is this: if you don't have sound, then you get kicked. That's all it is. People only spam sound and no other gags inside these inside these cog buildings and factories. It's just one thing and one thing only, and it's sound. And I agree. Yeah, if you want to actually level it up, you gotta do cog invasions. If not, if you want to play like the actual buildings or factories, then tough luck trying to, because other people are gonna be really upset with you if you don't use this one move. This is one of those things that like if you don't have it in your setup team or in your setup, then they're not gonna let you play with them. It's it's just that simple. Sound is really good, especially when you pair it up with other people. Uh, has may it may not have the most damage, but again, once you pair it with, if everybody keeps on spamming it together, uh, all the damage stacks up with multiple players. So it's overall a really good thing. Yeah. All the time I go into a dungeon hoping that people want to do like a soundless run or something. But sure, only like, like the case, last like three or four. It's actually like like versatile and so useful, if you but game, like you don't get sound. Still, I don't know, you made the, the horrible decision. But if you do get sound, be prepared to use this for like the entirety of the game. You'll Plus, it's like this. this will be the main thing. You the later have. gags are the more the later tiers yeah. are more important. But yeah, like, like 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 we're, like what even he's saying, everyone only spams this move, so it's like you'll be getting the max rank like instantly. And honestly, lore is also in the great tier. The reason why is just because it stuns every single enemy and makes it to where your gags do more damage besides sound and then drop just doesn't work in lore. But honestly, I'm pretty sure it still makes it to where sound hits 100% of the time. It just doesn't increase the damage of it. But yeah, lore being able to just stun every enemy and even the final ones have the same chance as a throw gag like that's just amazing you know this the stunner with the same chance of a throw gag and making it more damage like i don't have to say more about this it's just amazing phenomenal gag honestly i put it above sound okay okay literally in i was situations of sound not even hitting or if you're fine okay i i was really thinking about it i was really about to say that i was like i'm debating between whether or not he's gonna put sound or lure uh above which one was you say was better and i actually agree with that that's actually a really smart pick uh actually based its list so far uh i actually do put lore above sound uh being able to basically the see sound is really powerful when you stack it with other things but the fact that lore if it works you bring all the cogs towards you and not only does it increase the damage of everything besides like drop um and technically, I guess also sound, but man, it stuns all the cogs for like what, like three or four rounds. Then you just be able to like full like, use tune up or set up with with a uh, with like communicating with one another. Is this overall like just being able to make the cogs not like attack you? Is want to like attack one at a time or use tune up and stuff? It's really really broken in my opinion, and I'm glad he feels the same way because. Uh, Oh yeah, oh my god, this, this having the power, just knowing that like, okay, it's basically four free rounds, we're, we're practically invincible, and because they can't, they can't dodge even the lowest accuracy things like throw, they can't dodge it, they can't attack us, and we can just spam tune up whenever we want to for like four rounds, it is crazy good. Like a version 2.0 cog or something, Lore's is the best, because sound doesn't work on 2.0 cogs, or it does less damage. So that's like his one weakness as lore is just great in any scenario. Mm. Now drop. drop. And now trap. <laughs> trap? Oh uh, why? Don't talk about drop. It starts off pretty bad. Like this man is a really drop hater. Damage, and you need lore to use it. But later, like the dynamite does 170 damage. Trap is so a setup. 180 damage to a cog, which is just amazing. And it's also really good for fighting version 2.0 cogs when you just want to get rid of that first layer of armor. So I like average, average on the same tier as hmm. Pro because using this when the person gets lore is just great, absolutely great. 
But like the only reason why it's not in great is just it just it starts out pretty bad. It just does no damage. <sighs> it's and I don't know. It just wasn't that great when it starts. And on to the It's so weird. Yeah, yeah, tune up or not tune up, uh Trap is a really weird kind of like gag thing. I, I appreciate the mixing up the formula with like you having the setup and basically it, it is a, it, it's, it's the name of the thing. It's called a trap, but it's like the fact that like it only works with lure. So essentially you can't just have like trap by itself. Unless you want to rely on other people to use lure with you. It, and plus, I like how I was just saying how broken lure is with how being able to stun enemies uh, lets you basically attack one one at a time, uh, use tune up on each other. The fact that like once you use a trap, you waste it all. Like it all just goes away. Sure, it probably has the most height, the highest damage output, just because of like the whole setup purpose of the gag. Um, and like he's saying, it does do massive damage, like the uh, the, the uh, 2.0 cogs. Um, but yeah, trap is such a difficult spot. I I guess good is a good spot for it. I I still probably say I probably still bring it down a tier lower. I I kind of think it's he's putting it a bit too high. Then again, who knows? I might be the wrong one on this one. I think it's more like in the average or meh category because it's just I feel like just having the the, the power to like just. Uh, I know I, I would I play more safe in my games so it's being able to stay more safe overall is better compared to this risking it for us a one move that can possibly not even kill so third great know. gag which is tune up obviously yeah. you're gonna be in the best tier because it's how you heal yeah the only downside is that you can't heal yourself which yep. does kind of suck but tune down it's whatever fix it's, it you kinda now okay it. You, play this game you need that like to be changed. Anyway. So, I mean, it's not that big of a problem. But, this is automatically be the best if you're able to hear yourself. But I put it b behind these two just because you can mm. heal yourself. 210, I swear to God. You better be listening to me right now. You guys better one day make an update to where tuned up can heal yourself because i am so tired of these online people not healing me when i need them to heal me well i don't want to be the standalone healer that doesn't even get healed okay i don't want to rely on friggin level or age eight timmy over here not wanting to do his one job and help me out when i'm low on health okay Come on, I'm a grown man playing a baby game. <laughs> I want to rely on myself and not toddlers to heal me up, okay? Okay. So like the later guys, like the, the dice or the juggling one, you're able to heal like over 50 to every single person. Like that is just that is just great. Like mm. of course this isn't a great, I mean, it's the only it's the only thing you can heal within the game. If you don't get if you don't get tune up. Like no one's gonna want you on their team. You're just a you're just a menace yeah. to the Toontown community. S same thing like sound. Opinion, if, you, if, you you're, if you're if you're if you're playing like, Toontown for the first time, only attack you. Uh, you kind of need everyone to have tune up just for situations that everyone needs to heal. And now to the final one, drop. In my opinion, this is the worst gag in the game. The drop rate is so low. I'm pretty sure it stays on low. So the drop gags are always on low. And like, you miss these more than half of the time. It's just bad. Yeah. Especially with my yeah. luck. That's probably why I have a worse experience with drop maybe than other people. I like never hit this gag. Same. So honestly, I wouldn't say it's bad just because the game for the 2.0 cogs, the piano actually is really good when you want to defeat the Skeleton cog. When it hits. So I'll put it in meh, yeah. but it's it's the worst gag. It's mm -hmm. just, it does a lot of damage, but I never hit it off. It's just, yeah, it's honestly the worst gag. And also for drop, it sucks too how you can't even lower to make it to where your drop actually works. You have to just hope it works normally because they programmed it to where you, you know, drop just doesn't work when you lower, which sucks. I mean, maybe they just did that because drop is OP, not OP, but like, I mean, kind of, it does a lot of damage. 
So maybe they just did that since it does a lot of damage. But like, drop and trap kind of the same amount of damage. But it's just, yeah. trap is kind of works when you lure. On like drop yeah, the fact that drop does just not work with so lure makes it sucks. kind of bad. That's why it's the worst gag in the game. But, I mean, yeah, there's my tier list. Setting really mean, gags. but spitting facts. I mean, I know this wasn't really a long video, but don't worry. There's only I made a, a long video, video for you. Full in depth on each one, which honestly, I don't think I even have the tune tone information, enough information to go fully in depth on each one. I do. You know, every single one of the scenarios. I'm the two time god. I played, and how far I am, I I have all the suits and everything. I just didn't do every single quest, but. It's whatever. But, based on my experience, this is what I think is a good tier list. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. And, uh, if you have any different opinions, leave a comment down below. Yeah, no, this... I mean... Overall, you, guys... I will, but, like, these three obviously have to be in the best tier. There's yeah. no way they're not. I mean... No, I agree. No, guys, uh... Overall, this was a great, great video. Uh, I agree with this guy's tier list. Good job, the plepper. Good job, I approve. You got the uh, Janie Doggy stamp of approval. Why don't you guys go down? Why don't you guys uh, go uh, go go check out this guy's channel for yourself, the Plepper. Uh, watch his other videos. He also makes some great content. Uh, be sure to subscribe to his channel. And you know what? Since you're already subscribing to stuff, you can also subscribe to my channel too. Even though I'm stealing his content, so go to him first, and then come over to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, let's gotta shell out at some point, you know.